Chumai, Croeso e Dospath Kelv, Geda Oriel Marthin Gallery. Welcome to Art Class with Oriel Marthin Gallery. Today I'm going to be making things out of clothes pegs. There are lots of fun things that you can make out of clothes pegs, and today I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly automata. So, you will need some plain or coloured paper, some pens or paints, scissors, and some glue. I'm going to use a glue gun, but if you don't have one, that's fine. I'm just using it because it's quick. Um, you can use ordinary white PVA glue or double-sided tape or pretty much any kind of glue that is going to glue paper onto wood. So the first thing you need to do is to cut out and colour your paper butterfly. I've done this already. A good trick is to fold your paper before you cut out your butterfly shape. So then your wings are exactly the same shape. And that is the first thing you need to do. You need to fold your butterfly. Once you've decorated and cut out your butterfly, you need to fold it and glue it onto your peg. You need to glue it onto the top part of your peg where it opens, okay? Not the bit that you squeeze, the bit that opens. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue gun glue on my peg and then I'm going to glue the butterfly where it folds. If you imagine where its body would be, that's what you're gluing onto your peg, okay? If you're using PVA glue you will need to wait for that to dry, okay? So you can put it on a radiator or in the sun which will make it dry quicker, okay? Um, so you've glued your butterfly on. Next, you have to glue on some strips of paper. Okay, so cut out some strips of paper. Quite good to use the same colour as your butterfly because then they're less noticeable. You need to glue these strips of paper onto your butterfly's wing here at the top and onto the bottom part of the peg. You will see that a clothes peg comes in two parts joined together with a wire spring. Most of the automata that I have been making at the gallery, um, one part attaches to the top and one part attaches to the bottom and that's what gives you the movement. So cut your paper strip to length like that and you're going to glue it onto this bottom part of the peg. So I'm going to put a dot of glue on the bottom part of the peg and a dot of glue on the top of the butterfly's wing. And then I'm going to glue that paper strip in place like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So first of all, measuring and cutting that paper strip so it's the right length and then I'm going to put a bit of glue on the bottom part of the peg careful not to glue the two parts together and on the wing and I'm going to glue that paper strip on again if you're using PVA you will need to wait for it to dry. But because I'm using a glue gun, it instantly works. And I've got two tortoiseshell butterflies. So for more ideas on things you can make out of clothes pegs, go to the Oriel Marthin Gallery community. Facebook page and you can see 
some of the clothes peg automata that I have made with my Young Artists Club. Um, I also have this lovely dove that my son made out of a clothes peg. Can you see it flying there? So, you know, you can get quite complicated with clothes peg automata if you want to. But the butterfly is a good place to start. So I hope you have fun making your clothes peg automata butterflies. Diolch yn Thank you for watching.